Okay, we're looking at an arroyo willow here. Um, beautiful example of arroyo willow, Salix lassiolepes. This is one of several willow species on Santa Cruz Island, um, two of which you're likely to see on the east end. Um, this one is not terribly common though in scorpion, but it is uh, very obvious here uh, near the uh, service road just between the ranch and the lower campground. Okay, kind of a close-up look at the Arroyo Willow Salix lassiolepis, and you get a feel for the uh, long, narrow shape to the leaves. And the underside of the leaves are very uh, light-colored, so you have a very different look to them than the darker green top of the leaves. Um, willows are an important uh, constituent of our riparian communities, our creek environments. Uh, they provide a lot of dense wood, wooded cover that grows really fast and recovers from floods rather quickly. They, uh, in that sense, they provide habitat, perching habitat, and cover for animals. They also um, have a, uh, their seeds are dispersed by the wind and include a kind of cottony substance that is a favorite for birds for nesting. The other thing I'd say about willow is it's kind of famous as a um, genus that you get aspirin from, salicylic acid. Uh, as I mentioned, this is salix, the genus salix, so you get salicylic acid from salix. From the inner bark of willow trees, you peel away the bark and then the inside of it, uh, the bark, inner bark is uh, high in salicylic acid. Uh, so. The only problem with that is that you never know just how high in salicylic acid the inner bark is. So it's never really recommended that we all go around peeling back willow bark and eating it when we have a headache. We have drugstores for that now. But for the longest time, that is where uh, pharmaceutical manufacturers got their uh, salicylic acid from willow.